constraints. Okay, so far so good. And then later we will multiply, okay. Click on okay first. All right, yeah. Yeah, we need to, you know, we need to input the injected fluid properties, but later I'm going to deal with the fluid and rock properties later. And then we will go to the well events, double click on that. Okay. And then this one, I want to go to first options. Okay. I want to, yeah, because it's a CO2 sequestration operation, you we will you will not inject the CO2 continuously to the year to 3000, right? So at a certain point in time, you will shut your well in. And then just after this, after the completion of the injection or cessation of the injection, you shut in and after that you monitor. Or you, you can monitor anytime, but of course, after you shut in, you will focus on the surveillance or monitoring. Yeah, and let's say I want to shut the injector I want to shut in the injector after 25 years of injection. Okay, so let's go to the, after you select options, I'm going to go to the year 2025. Okay, January 1st, 2025. And, okay, constraints, status, Click on that and then shut in. Just sh shut your well in. Okay. Okay. So open again, yeah. open this well events. In the well events window will show up and then you shut in the well after 25 years of injection in the options tab and then click on okay. Okay, so first you have the event starting from 2000, but you have another event and it's at the year 2000, 2025, you will just shut your well in. Okay. And then perforation, let's deal with the perforation, double click on that and then expand this one. All right. And then we will perforate the well by going to, yeah, of course, the well completion data, perf, the keyword perf, and then the dialog window will show up. And then on the perforation tab here, we will create perforation in the approximate center of the model by adding a row and typing. The perforation, of course, will be conducted in the year 2000, January 1st, 2000. And insert before selected node or insert after selected node. Or you can also use MOS if you want, but it's a control tutorial. It's a controlled exercise. So I'm just going to click on this one. Okay, so we will place our perforation or first we will place our well at approximately the center of the the model so if you look at it it will be at grid 1925 the i and j direction but for the z direction or k direction it will be started at there okay you can see there and yeah, I will start the perforation at the layer number eight. Connect to surface, yeah, that's why you can see this window. And FF, formation factor one. And if you open this one, okay, status open. Expand again. And this is the WI, all right, it is calculated, the length calculated, 
it's already automatically populated there based on the real condition of the model itself. So, sorry, should not delete. Should select this. Insert after selected node, right? And then let's just make it like this. Yeah, it should be connected to one. Okay. And then, sorry, let's put it manually then. And then, yeah. Lastly, the bottom perforation is at this layer number 13. Okay, so if I squeeze it, you can see the well there. And if you go inside the model, the perforation is at this location. Okay, click on apply. And then click on okay. Okay, and don't forget to save. Okay, and right now we can stop here. And in the next video, we will go to, we will address the fluid properties and rock properties and the interaction between the rock and fluid properties, as well as of course, the properties of the injected fluid, in this case, the CO2. Okay, so, See you later. Thank you.